Hello everyone, you are watching Lunch with the Leader, and today I am here in the heart of the Ohio State University at the Eddie George's Grill 27, and I have the privilege of speaking with Randville Waiters. How are you doing? I'm doing great. That is awesome. I'm so happy that you joined us today. We're going to have a good time. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Looking <laughs> forward to it. Okay, so let's start out. The Ohio State University or Ohio State Oh, yeah, it's the Ohio okay. State University. Absolutely. That seems to be a pretty hot topic. It's like you ask players, okay, you say you include the the on it. Is it really that important? Yes, it is. I mean, it, one, it includes that pride. And, and again, you talk about one of the uh, best universities in the country. Right. One of the best universities that you played for. Yes, ma'am. I uh, was blessed enough to play four years here at Ohio State and to get an education. Mm -hmm. And so, what advice do you have for aspiring youth who want to play either professional? Well, preparation, and uh, when you talk about collegiate sports, uh, to understand the student athlete side of it, and the fact that uh, uh, the education is foremost important from that standpoint, because that's one thing that can't be taken away. From athletics, you know, that, that's a limited time if you're fortunate enough to uh, play at the professional level. That's great advice. Um, do you have any advice for parents of children who are aspiring to be players, and they're still young, and they have these I'd have to say support and the biggest the reason I have the, the biggest smile on my face is my dad was always there okay. I mean, even as you said that I can still remember uh, uh, we had a little minivan and when I was uh, playing professionally he grabbed some of my buddies from high school and, and they'd come up to see us play wow. and, uh, but he was there uh, all the way through so at the games. Support, yes. support, 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 support. And, and of course, uh, their parents got to be there to make sure that the uh, student side stays on track. Mm -hmm. Education support. Absolutely. Okay. Um, being in the spotlight as an athlete, did you feel a sense of responsibility towards people looking up to you? Yes, I did. And, and still do, do to this day. Uh, uh, I feel that, uh, you know, we want to set an example. And uh, that's always, uh, for me, it's been easy because that's just how I am in terms of treating people how I want to be treated. So you say pretty much being humble, that humility brought about a sense of direction as far as what you're going to be in your life. Yes, because that is, basketball is not who I am. That's who I, what I was doing. Uh, and, and again, blessed enough to take it to the levels that uh, I was able to do. But again, it was something I did. And uh, I still understand the uh, uh, the part of it that, that brings on in terms of being in the spotlight. Uh, because I, I wound up meeting people that I looked up to. Uh, and, say, for example, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was my idol growing up. And I can still remember uh, starting uh, one of my first times starting in a basketball game with the Pacers was against uh, the Lakers. Tell me about that. Tell oh. me about that experience. Oh, it was a lovely experience. It was uh, a little nerve-wracking because, again, uh, here I am uh, being known for my defense, and my responsibility was to now defend uh, my idol uh, with his uh, powerful and uh, go-to-the-bank hook shot. Listen, I was looking at your eyes right <laughs> yeah. now, and I just, like, that took me back to that moment. Yeah, you did. You did. Oh, you, did. Wow. you did. You did. Absolutely. What a wonderful experience. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, how important was it for you to Yes, uh, mine has been in business, and uh, uh, you know, growing up, I was around business. My dad had a few small businesses uh, uh, while I was a child. I even started off myself with a paper route uh, wow. back in the day. So, uh, I've always, uh, to some extent, aspired to be in that business realm, you know, and being a business owner. So you always have basically like a heart of entrepreneur. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, how about now? So now you're you're, you're long outside of college. Yes, I'm in consulting, and uh, uh, to summarize that, I show people how to save money and make money. There you go. Yes. So you, this is your own business? Yes. Uh -huh. What is it called? It's called uh, G Waiters, Inc. G Waiters, Inc. Yes. Uh -huh. and, uh, what would you say is your primary goal for your clients? Well, a, a subsidiary of that is uh, the acronym is ENTER, 
which stands for Entrepreneurs Networking Towards Eternal Revenue. And uh, that's a piece I came up with years ago. And, you know, we're always on the computer and uh, uh, was able to put that together. And our, our focus is, again, showing people how to create revenue to be your own uh, boss and business owner, uh, as well as uh, creative ways to save on taxes and, and those types of things. You know, as you were thinking, I was just, I just came up with an idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I've got that in mind. It's not in place yet. But yes, uh, one of the uh, companies I'm working with has a very low uh, entry fee. And uh, part of my focus is going to be on our uh, 15, 18 year olds and not only getting them involved in the business, but again, going back to when I had a paper route, uh, uh, now we can get them involved in a business, but also meet periodically, whether it's monthly or quarterly, talking about balancing your checkbook and, and understanding marketing and, and finance and those types of things. And then with the college students, uh, you know, it's a big struggle. You see it in the news all the time with the uh, uh, cost of, of uh, education. And uh, when they do leave, they've got a big bill following behind them, a big debt. And um, uh, this concept can afford them more time to study because again, they, instead of going and doing, you know, eight, seven or eight hours a day and still trying to go to school, now they can have their own business. Wow, that is brilliant. Yes. Thank you so much, Granville, for mm -hmm. speaking with us today. It's been a pleasure. Uh, thank you thank for you. listening to our show. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for joining us today.